Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. In this video, we are going to discuss 50 most important facts on carbohydrates. A quick revision in 10 minutes definitely will help you for your exams. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin. Point number one of the four major biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids. Carbohydrates are the most abundant organic molecules in nature. Point number two, they are polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. Point number three, monosaccharides are the simplest sugars or the monomeric units of carbohydrates. Let's have a quick look into the structure of carbohydrate. This is the most abundant carbohydrate, glucose C6H12O6. As you can see, here there are many hydroxyl groups, OH groups that makes it polyhydroxy. Then the functional group is aldehyde. Therefore, we can call it as polyhydroxy aldehydes. Now take the case of fructose, which is also having the same formula. These two are structural isomers, but the functional group is different. Here it is ketone group, C double bond or ketone group. So we can define carbohydrates as polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. Carbohydrates with aldehyde functional group are called aldoses whereas sugars with ketone functional group are called ketoses. Point number 4. General formula is CH2ON where N is 3 or more. These are the notable exceptions very important for exams include deoxyribose which is in nucleic acid then ramnose, ramnohexose, digitoxose. As you can see here the formula is C5H10O4 not obeying this formula. Some carbohydrates contain nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. Point number five simplest is a triose or with three carbon. Glyceraldehyde is the simplest aldose with carbon number. Carbon number is three. Then dihydroxyacetone is the simplest ketose. Four carbon sugar or tetrose, erythrose for phosphate is a precursor of lignin and anthocyanin. Point number six, reducing sugars are sugars with free aldehyde or ketone group in open gene configuration that reduces cupric ion to cuprous ion. All monosaccharides and disaccharides like lactose and maltose are reducing sugars. Non-reducing sugars include sucrose and trehalose. And this reaction is a basis of Felling's tolerance and Benedict's test. Point number 10. The term saccharide is a Greek word saccharon meaning sugar. Point number 11. Glucose or D-glucose which is dextrorotatory known as dextrose is the most abundant carbohydrate. Point number 12. Glucose is synthesized from sucrose or cane sugar by boiling with dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid in alcoholic solution glucose and fructose are formed or it is synthesized commercially from starch by hydrolysis of starch by boiling with dilute H2O sulfur at 393 Kelvin under pressure. Point number 14 galactose is not occurring in nature as such it is found in milk as a component of disaccharide lactose. Point number 15. Galactose is also called as brain sugar as it is an important component of the glycolipids in the brain and myelin sheath of nerve cells. We have given 50 important points on amino acids in our previous video. You can refer that also. Point number 16. Defructose, which is also called as levulose as it is strongly liver rotatory, is the most abundant ketohexose which is a sugar in honey and sweet fruits and fructose is the sweetest natural sugar. Manitol, alcohol of mannose, is a reserve food in brown algae. Point number 17. Epimers are D sugars that differ in configuration at only one asymmetric carbon atom. D glucose and D galactose are epimers differing at carbon position number 4. Now moving into disaccharides. Disaccharides are two monosaccharides that is joined by glycosidic bond. As you can see, this is a monosaccharide glucose. As you can see, 
Here also, this is a second monosaccharide glucose. This combines with the release of water to form a bond which is called as glycosidic bond forming maltose. Glucose plus glucose forms maltose and that is joined by glycosidic bond. We have given a short video on glycosidic bond and how this bond is formed. You can refer that also. The link is given above. Point number 19. Examples include maltose which is made up of D-glucose and D two D-glucose units that is joined by alpha-1-4 linkage. This is alpha-1 carbon-1 and carbon-4 alpha-1-4 linkage. Then there is sucrose. Sucrose is made up of glucose and beta-fructose and the linkage is alpha-1 beta-2 glycosidic linkage. Then the third one is lactose which is made up of beta-D galactose and beta-D glucose and the linkage is beta-1 for glycosidic linkage. Now moving into oligosaccharides. Oligosaccharides are carbohydrates usually made up of 2 to 10 monosaccharides units that is joined by glycosidic bond. Raffinose is an example that is a trisaccharide made up of galactose, glucose and fructose. Point number 23. Polysaccharides are not sweet. As you can see polysaccharides are made up of thousands of monosaccharide units that is joined by glycosidic bond. Here thousands of glucose molecules are joined by glycosidic bond in starch. Polysaccharides are complex carbohydrates made up of hundreds of monosaccharide units joined by glycosidic bond. There are two types of polysaccharides. First one is structural polysaccharide like cellulose that forms linear chain in plants, found in plants. Point number 26. Storage polysaccharides include starch in plants and glycogen in animals. Point number 27. Polysaccharides may be homopolysaccharide which is made up of same type of monosaccharide units. Examples include starch which is made up of glucose, glycogen, cellulose, dextrin, inulin, etc. Whereas heteropolysaccharides are made up of two or more types of monomers or monosaccharides. Heteropolysaccharides are present in humans in glycosoaminoglycans or mucopolysaccharides. Examples include heparin, hyaluronic acid, chondritin sulfate, dermatin sulfate, keratin sulfate, blood group polysaccharides. All are heteropolysaccharides that is made up of two or more monosaccharide units. Point number 30. Hemicellulose and pectin are carbohydrates present in plants. Point number 31. Starch is a storage polysaccharide present in plants. Point number 32, it is an alpha D glucose polymer, has two components, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose are unbranched water soluble component which is having one for glycosidic linkage. It forms 50 to 20 percent of starch. Whereas amylopectin is insoluble in water that makes 80 to 85 percent of starch which is branched and the linkage is alpha 14 and alpha 16 linkage at branching points. So in amylose, there is only alpha-1-4 linkage, whereas in amylopectin, which is branched, which is having alpha-1-4 linkage in linear chains, at the branch points, it is having alpha-1-6 linkage. Point number 35. Cellulose is the most abundant organic substance that is present in plant cell wall. Monomeric units are beta-D glucose and the linkage is beta-1-4 glycosidic linkage. Normally, the storage polysaccharides are having alpha linkage whereas structural polysaccharides are having beta linkage. We have given a video on the difference between alpha and beta linkage. You can refer that also. Cellulose cannot be digested by humans. It is digested by termites, grazers as they are having intestinal bacteria that produce enzyme cellulase that helps in digestion of cellulose. Point number 37. Glycogen, which is an animal reserve food, which is made up of glucose residues that is linked by alpha-1,4 and alpha-1,6 glycosidic bonds. Now moving into functions of carbohydrates. Point number 38. Starch stored food in plants. Starch plus iodine gives blue color. Glycogen is a stored food in animals. It is found primarily in liver and small amount in muscles. Glucogen is a hormone 
that is secreted by alpha cells in the islets of Langer hands in the pancreas is involved in glycogen metabolism. Glycogen reacts with iodine forming red color. Point number 40, cellulose in, is present in cell walls of plants and maximum concentration is in cotton. Point number 41, D-ribose and 2-deoxyribose in nucleic acids. D-ribose in RNA and 2-deoxyribose in DNA are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are present as chitin in fungal cell walls, exoskeleton of insects. It's a polysaccharide containing nitrogen. Monomer of chitin is N-acetyl glucosamine, a modified sugar. Point number 43. Carbohydrates are important component of many industries like textile, paper, lacquers and breweries. Point number 44. Agar is a polysaccharide that is used in widely used in culture media and also a laxative and a food. Point number 45. Hyaluronic acid found in between joints access synovial fluid and provides frictionless movement. Point number 46. Pectin and hemicellulose are the structural carbohydrate in plant cell walls. Point number 47. Glycoproteins and glycolipids are components of plasma membrane and plays an important role in cellular recognition process. Glyco glycoproteins are proteins that is bonded to carbohydrate. Glycolipids are lipids that is bonded to carbohydrates. Point number 48. Murine is a structural carbohydrate in bacterial cell wall. So carbohydrates are also involved in protein targeting. If mannose 6-phosphate is stacked to a protein, it will be directed to lysosome. Point number 50. Heparin, anticoagulant of blood prevents blood clotting, which is a carbohydrate. If you have any additional points, please add that in the comments so that everyone is benefited. If you find this video useful, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you so much for your attention. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.